Hey what is up guys, so today I'm going to go over a quick and easy way to design a phone case online with zero skills. You can use this guide to then later start off a phone case business with as little as $14 and create a passive income. Start off by going to Printful, navigate to products and select phone case. Select the guidelines tab and download the design template. In your downloads folder, unzip it and you should find a PSD file and some PNG guidelines for iPhone and Samsung. We'll be using this as a guide when designing our cases. Next you want to head over to freepick.com. This is a website which provides high quality graphics for free as long as you give attribution to the author. Search for a graphic, for this example I'll search for Memphis. On each graphic, if you scroll down, you can see the rights to it. This graphic has free commercial use as long as you give attribution. You can click how to attribute to specifically find out more on how to give attribution to each individual graphic on this website. Go ahead and search for and download a vector graphic. Next, head over to Cloud Convert. We want to convert EPS to SVG. They're both two different vector formats, but SVG is compatible with the web. Unzip your downloaded graphic. There should be a file with the extension EPS. We want to upload that onto Cloud Convert and convert it to SVG. Download the converted file and head over to vector.com. All the links will be in the description below. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe. So press use online and the first thing we want to do is change the document from pixels to inches. Then on the left sidebar, select pages, deselect the linked icon and change the canvas dimensions to 2.9 inches by 6.1. Now reselect the linked icon and change the dimensions to 10. This will proportionally make your canvas bigger. Having a larger image allows the picture to be at a higher resolution, which is better for printing. Choose a guideline to work with and upload it by dragging it in. Hold shift and resize it to fit the canvas. Now upload the converted SVG version of your downloaded graphic. You can resize it and move it around however you like. If you go into the layers panel, you can lock the guideline image so it stays in place. I like to delete the background and any unnecessary parts of the graphic. Click the eye icon to hide the guideline layer. You can select every element of the graphic and group it together by pressing Ctrl or Command G. I want to add text to this document but don't fancy fonts vector has to offer. So I'm going to use Canva. Head over to canva.com and create a large document. Select the text tab and drag in a header. Type in whatever text you want and then choose a font. I like the selection of fonts Canva has to offer. But if they don't have what you're looking for, they also allow you to import your own fonts with a premium account. I'm going to use the playlist font and change the font size to be as large as possible. Once you're done, go ahead and download it as a PNG. Now head over to Convertio.com. We are going to use this site to convert PNG into an SVG so we can use the graphic in Vector. Upload the PNG and ensure that you have selected to convert it to SVG. Download the SVG and upload it into Vector. Great. 
Group it together pressing Ctrl or Command G. You can now resize it and position it. Turn on the guideline layer to ensure you are within the margins and it fits well within it. I'm going to change my text to white. Now go to export and save it as a PNG. A PNG will save transparencies in your artwork. Head back over to Printful and select Mockup Generator. Choose Phone Cases and select iPhone Cases. Upload your freshly created design. Printful instantly makes previews of your design on different cases. When you're happy with the position and look of your design, you can press Generate Files. For this tutorial, I'm only going to be using the iPhone X mockup. Go ahead and download the mockup. Now the next part is optional but you can use it to make product pictures for your store. Head over to Canva and create a new file, whatever size you like. Upload your newly generated mockup you just made. You can use Canva to create clean product images as well as Instagram pictures and web banners. I hope this video helped you today. All the links used in this video will be in the description below. If you want to learn how you can create a phone case business under $14, check the description below and find the link to learn how. You can learn more at phonecasebusiness.com and if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe.